हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल दैस कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री बिफोर स्टार्टिंग टू डेज लेक्चर प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडेज टॉपिक फॉर द लेक्चर इज द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फ़िगरेशन ऑफ द एलिमेंट्स इन द पीरियड्स एज वी ऑल नो द हॉरिजोंटल रोज ऑफ द प्रोरिटेबल इज कॉल्ड पीरियड्स सो नाउ लेट अस डिस्कस सम पॉइंट्स अबाउट द पीरियड्स वॉट दस पीरियड नंबर स्पेसिफाई आई एम राइटिंग वॉट दस period number specify it specifies about the principal quantum number principal quantum number or we can say the number of main energy shell the number of main energy shell being filled by last electron that means in period number 1 in period number 1 the filling of first energy shell will take place in period number 2 the filling of second energy shell will take place similarly the period number 3 the third energy shell in period number 4 the fourth energy shell in period number 5 fifth shell in period number 6 sixth shell then finally in period number 7 seventh energy shell the filling of seventh energy shell will take place so now the filling of sub shells in the main energy shell will take place according to the energy of orders of the sub shell that we have done in the lectures of quantum numbers so let me write the sequence of energy order for the sub shells so the very first the minimum energy is of 1s then 2s then 2p so it's an increasing order of energy 1s then 2s then 2p then 3s then 3p then 4s then 3d then 4p after that 5s then 4d then 5p then 6s then 4f then 5d then 6p after that 7s then 5f then 6d and then finally 7p so this is the order of increasing energy so this is the order of increasing energy of sub shells now so now let's specify the period number in the in this increasing energy order so we know that the numerical value in the quantum number stands for the principal quantum number numerical value means this one in 1s so 1s means the first energy shell that means we are talking about the period number 
वन इन केस ऑफ वन एस देन आफ्टर दैट एंड न्यूमेरिकल वैल्यू इज टू फॉर द टू एस एंड द टू पी सो फॉर टू एस एंड द टू पी द न्यूमेरिकल वैल्यू इज टू दैट इज द प्रिंसिपल काउंटर नंबर द प्रिंसिपल काउंटर नंबर इज टू फॉर टू एस एंड टू पी सो दैट मीन्स दिस इज द पीरियड नंबर टू दैट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इन द पीरियड नंबर टू द फिलिंग ऑफ टू एस एंड टू पी विल टेक प्लेस आफ्टर दैट द प्रिंसिपल काउंटर नंबर इज थ्री फॉर थ्री एस एंड 3p that means we are talking about the period number 3 for the filling of 3s and the 3p after that we are having the 4s the principal counter number is 4s then there is a turn of 3d then then it's a 4p the filling of 3d becomes energetically favorable after the filling of 4s because the energy of 3d is greater than the 4s so the 3d subshell will fall in the period number 4 where the filling of fourth shell that is 4s and 4p will take place so that means 4s then 3d then 4p the filling of 4s 3d and 4p will take place for the period number 4 so now let's talk about the next one now it's a 5s the principal counter number is 5s then it's 4d then it's 5p so the filling of 4d becomes energetically favorable after the filling of 5s because the energy of 4d is greater than that of 5s so it's a, in the sequence of energy the 5s then 4d then 5p constitutes the period number 5 now let's talk about the success now from success the filling of Success. Then like four F. Then five D. Then six P will take place, and filling of four F becomes energetically favorable after success, and the filling of five D becomes energetically favorable after the four F, because the energy of four F is greater than six S, and the energy of five D is greater than four F. So four F and five D will come in period number six. So. we are talking about the period number 6 over here now let's talk about the next period the period number 7 it corresponds to 7s because principal counter number is 7 over here then 7s then again same way 5f then 6d then 7p the energy of 5f is greater than 7s that's why it's in the seventh period then energy of 6d is greater than 5f that's why it's also in the seventh period so the filling of 7s then 5d then 6d then the filling of 7s then 5f then 6d then 7p will take place in case of period number 7 so these are the principal counter numbers or you can say the main energy shell number that's called a period number so now let's evaluate how many elements are there in particular periods before doing that let me make you understand one thing the number of elements the number of elements in a particular period in a particular period is twice the number of orbitals is twice the number of orbitals available for filling of electrons available for the filling of electrons so let us calculate the total orbitals available in each period then we are going to just multiply by the 2 so you will get the number of elements in that particular period so now before doing that you should know something let me re revise that in case of s subshell we have one orbital in case of p subshell we have three orbitals in case of d subshell 
we have five orbitals and in case of f sub shell we have seven orbitals so next question arises why we are twicing it because in one orbital we always have two electrons so when we move across a period the atomic number is increasing by one unit so that's why we are applying uh, we are going to apply these facts in calculating the number of the elements in a particular period so now let's first of all write the number of orbital availables then we are going to multiply it with multi multiplying it by 2 so in case of 1s in case of 1s we will have only one orbital in case of 2s again is s subshell we have only one orbital in case of 2p it's p subshell we have the three orbitals in case of s subshell before doing to the before going to the 3s let's calculate total number of orbital in the second period the total number of orbital in second period comes out to be 4 here it's 1 now let's come to the 3s and the 3p in case of 3s we have s subshell we are having only one orbital in case of 3p subshell in p subshell we have three orbitals so how many total orbitals are available in the third period it comes out to be 1 plus 3 and it comes out to be again four orbitals now let's talk about the fourth period in case of fourth period we are having 4s in case of 4s s subshell we are having one orbital in case of d subshell uh, it's 3d for d we are having five orbitals and in case of 4p it's p orbit p subshell it comes out to be three orbitals so we have to add it up 1 plus 5 plus 3 so how many total orbitals are there in the fourth period it comes out to be nine orbitals now let's come to the period number five in period number five we are having five s in s subshell we have only one orbital in 4d is a d subshell we have five orbitals in case of 5p in p subshell we have three orbitals now how many total orbitals are there in the period number five it comes out to be one plus five plus three we are having again total of nine orbitals in the fifth period so now let's talk about the sixth period in case of sixth period we are having firstly 6s again for s subshell we have one orbital for f subshell is 4f for f 4 f for f subshell we have seven orbitals then also 5d for d subshell we have five orbitals for 6p in p subshell we have three orbitals so it's total of 1 plus 7 plus 5 plus 3 and it comes out to be total of 16 orbitals getting filled in the sixth period let's talk about the seventh period in seventh period we have the 7s and s subshell has again one orbital 5f f subshell has again the seven orbital 6d the d subshell will have the five orbital and the 7p the p subshell will have a total of three orbitals so how many total orbitals are getting filled in the period number seven it's one plus seven plus five plus three and it's again comes out to be the 16 orbitals getting filled so we got the total orbitals to be 16 so now let's twice the number of orbital because one orbital carries two electrons so we have to evaluate the total number of electrons getting filled accordingly we will get the number of elements because as we move in period from left to right the atomic number of the element that is the number of electron increases by one unit only so let's multiply it by 2 so 1 into 2 we got the two elements in the first period now 4 into 2 we got a total of eight elements in the second period now in case of period number three is again 4 into 2 we got total of again eight elements in the third period now in period number four uh, it's 9 into 2 we got total of 18 elements in the fourth period in the period number 5 again is 9 into 2 we got a total of 18 elements in the fifth period also now let's come to the 16th 
sorry let's come to the sixth period in sixth period we are having total of 16 orbitals so 16 into 2 we got total of 32 elements in the sixth period in period number 7 we are again having 16 orbitals into 2 we got 16 into 2 comes out with 32 elements in the seventh period but in period number 7 many elements are man-made we have a theoretical maximum of 32 element in the seventh period but in reality we are not having total of 32 elements because some elements are still to be discovered discovered but maximum of 32 elements can be adjusted in the period number seven so how many total elements we got over here it's 2 plus 8 plus 8 plus 18 plus 18 plus 32 plus 32 so finally we got total of 118 elements our periodic table consists of total of 118 elements so let's recapitulate this whole thing in the periodic table so this is the periodic table now let's talk about the period number one in period number one we are having total of two elements we are having total of two elements now it starts from hydrogen in hydrogen there is a filling of 1s then in case of helium is again the filling of 1s so we got the 1s1 for hydrogen and the 1s2 for helium helium is 1s2 and placed it placed with noble gases because it has the properties of noble gases only so we got total of two elements now for the period number second we were having 2s and the 2p for lithium and the beryllium there will be the filling of 2s subshell then from boron to neon there will be the filling of 2p subshell so it's in 2s and the 2p so we got a total number of eight elements in period number two it's a period number one it's period number two the period number three the period number four the period number five six and finally seven so now let's come to the third period for third period we were having the subshell 3s and the 3p now for sodium and the magnesium the filling of 3s subshell will take place after that from aluminium to argon the filling of 3p subshell will take place and will make total of again 8 elements in period number 3 now let's come to the period number 4 in period number 4 there will be the filling of 4s then 3d then 4p so potassium and the calcium the k and the c there will be the filling of 4s after that from scandium to zinc there will be the filling of 3d subshell then from gallium to krypton there will be the filling of 4p subshell making total of 18 elements in period number 4 now in case of period number 5 there will be filling of 5s then 4d then 5p so here i'm writing for rubidium and the strontium the filling of 5s will take place then from yttrium to cadmium the filling of 4d will take place and then from indium to xenon the filling of 5p will take place taking total elements to again 18 in pair number 5 now stuck talk about the period number 6 for period number 6 there will be there will be the filling of 6 s then 4 f then 5 d then 6 p so from cesium to barium the filling of 6 s will take place then from cerium uh, here from first of all from lanthanum the filling of 5d will start but from direct from cerium to utetium the filling of 
फोर एफ विल टेक प्लेस एंड ऑल दीज फोर्टीन एलिमेंट्स विल कम अंडर फ्रॉम स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम लेंथ विल कम अंडर फ्रॉम फिफ्टी सेवन टू सेवेंटी वन एट दिस प्लेस देन द फिलिंग ऑफ फाइव डी विल कंटिन्यू फ्रॉम हैफनियम टू मर्क्री सो हेयर विल द फिलिंग ऑफ फाइव डी एंड देन फाइनली द फिलिंग ऑफ फाइव पी विल टेक प्लेस फ्रॉम थैलियम टू रोडियम रोडॉन सॉरी सो इस सिक्स पी टेकिंग टोटल एलिमेंट टू डी थर्टी टू now from frenchium and iridium the i'm talking about the seventh period the frenchium and iridium the filling of 7s will take place then from actinium 6d will start only then after that thorium to laurentium it will be there will be the filling of 5f then come now all these elements will come over here this place then from rutherfordium to cn uh there will be the filling of six d subshell then from ns to agnison there will be the filling of 7p subshell taking total of elements to 32 in the period number 7 so that was the sequence of the subshells getting filled in the different periods and following the trends of electronic configuration thereby giving a proper symmetry to the periodic table so that's all for today i hope you got the funda of getting the electronic configuration the periods if any student wants to book a paid one to one online class to clear their doubts then he she can contact me my phone number is mentioned on thumbnail of the lecture please do like subscribe and share my channel to maximum number of students don't forget to press the subscribe button stay blessed